Now, when it comes to taking your puppy or your dog for a walk, it's easy to get overwhelmed by the number of equipment options and just the process in general. So Laura Monaco Torelli, our favorite doggy trainer and founder of Animal Behavior Training Concepts is here. She has some tips to make sure that your dog doesn't end up walking you. I was one of those. Uh, and I'm still <laughs> one of those a little bit. Like, I mean, it happens, like, yeah. they get, especially when they're young, right? Laura, I mean, do we have to start yes. young or is it possible to train an older dog too? Um, yes and yes, excellent questions. Okay. And thank you for having us back. Um, um, who's this? This is Callie. She is a beautiful, young, all paws blazing, three month old um, lab puppy. And oh. it's typically um, at this age where a lot of our puppy owners will say, you know, I want walking to go smoothly and I want it to go well. And mm -hmm. there's a lot of pressure to teach loose leash walking, but we need to make a lot of considerations when we have young puppies that are curious <laughs> and they want to sniff the world around them. Mm -hmm. So to answer your question, yes, we want to start young or if we adopt or an older mm -hmm. dogs can be taught to. They too. can be, okay. okay. What's, so, I mean, you know, what can we do? Where do we begin? Well, that's an excellent question. And it's important that we look at a lot of considerations. So for beautiful Callie, she's only three months old. And so we're gonna be taking into consideration that her skills and her owner skills are going to vary at three months of age for her, right. six months of age, and nine months of age, and one year of age. When she's a full-blown adolescent, she's going to be learning new skills as she's going through social maturity as well. So there's a lot of pressure to get walking perfect right mm -hmm. off the bat but we need to accommodate for where they're at developmentally <laughs> and their curious level. <laughs> Look at Let this. them sniff and explore the environment like mm -hmm. she's doing now and then kind of gently bring them back. Well, what yes. about equipment? Because right. one of the things I noticed with my dog, because he's super strong, and I didn't realize how strong he was gonna be as he got older, yes. having a collar, uh, um, a leash on a collar just wasn't enough for me to be able yes. to control him without hurting him. Yes. So, and I find that a lot of people share that same thing. Yes, you bring up an excellent point again in that, you know, we're advocates of flat buckle collars. Um, if we're gonna use equipment, a six foot leash with poop bags. Mm -hmm. And we also need to be considerate of if we use harnesses like we see behind us over mm -hmm. there, that these types of, yay, we got the stuffed puppy. <laughs> yay. That when we're looking at considerations for other types of equipment, if the dog is pulling and we're making choices to use harnesses like this mm -hmm. or head collars like this, that we're not using it as a, it's gonna fix the pulling. We need to address mm -hmm. the underlying motivation why our dog is lunging or pulling forward. Uh -huh. And if there's aggression, we should consult with um, a you know, veterinary behaviorist or a certified applied animal behaviorist, trainers that can help you understand why your berry wants to pull forward. Mm -hmm. We don't wanna use these types of equipment as a steering wheel why? and try to pull them away we want to complement using appropriate equipment mm -hmm. with positive associations. I was going to say that. We know that about you. It's all about positive associations. We see that even with Callie. It's like little yeah. treats, little corn, you know, little carrots. So when we're walking, should that be the incentive? Should we bring the treats and use that? Would that be the first step? for people who are learning to, or teaching their dogs to walk? Great, uh, yeah, gosh, more, more great questions. Um, I'm an advocate of let the puppy or dog sniff the environment under safe conditions. Dogs have a wonderful sensory system, their eyes, their sense of smell, their sense of hearing. And I think dog owners get a lot of pressure to control. And we wanna let the dogs take in their environment Mm -hmm. Bring treats if they want to eat them or toys. You can bring some fun little rope toys as well and encourage them to want to play and enjoy a relaxing walk. We get a lot of pressure right. that we have to, you know, walking is serious business. Walking our dog should be relaxing. And if we're right. stressed out, then they become stressed yes, out. And yes. what about with other dogs? Because I notice a lot of people are, are not confident when they see you coming down the street. Even if you're cool oh, with, yes. with the greeting oh. process, yes. they're weird about it. How? Do, what's the best way to handle that? Yeah, and you know, the, the example that I give is if we're shopping on Michigan Avenue on a busy Saturday, do we stop and shake everyone's hand? No. No. Um. And dog owners... <laughs> I do my best. I love no, it, I love it. Yeah. Um, and dog owners, I think, get pressured to do on-leash greetings to socialize right. or give their dog a social network. But a leash, although it's the law here in Chicago, does have restrictive qualities. So I like to teach when we see a dog or a person at a distance, allow space, because we don't know if, if Barry yeah. is scared of other dogs. Mm -hmm. And if I let Callie rush up mm -hmm. and 
greet to Barry, he might lunge at her, and then that's going to affect both Barry and Callie for the rest of their lives. Mm. We need to give dog owners their space to enjoy that walk. Mm -hmm. Carry right. poop bags, please, always. <laughs> and don't Especially feel pressure with the puppies. to give them space to enjoy a relaxing walk at a distance. Mm. Pair with treats, like you said, toys and playtime, or just a good sniff of the environment. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Good, Good stuff, stuff, Laura. Callie, we love thank it. You so thank much. you, Callie, for being such a thank great guest and so cute. Aww. If you want more information on Laura or her services, go to abtconcepts.com. And uh, this was our doggy room moment for today. Yeah. I don't even want to get up. I'm Me either. I'm just going to stay here and play with Callie. And I'm going to have peanut butter because now I have a craving for a peanut butter okay. sandwich. Just don't look that calm. <laughs>